So now we've got each individual part of the process nailed down. We need to pull everything together and create our first full set of fans. So this is the four step process now that you will be assessed on. So if you've done your classic course with us, it's really similar, well it's pretty much exactly the same for step techniques. So picking your fan up, isolating, which you should already be able to do, your glue technique, we also look at that and then the application, we look at the application and make sure that that is bang on as well. So when you're applying your fans, when you're going through the whole process, make sure you do it in this order. Uh, talk yourself through it, get it, get into autopilot with it so that you're into the rhythm of doing it in that order um, and you'll pick up your speed. So if you focus on doing each area perfectly, the only thing that you'll need to work on then is picking up a bit of speed, bearing in mind it still does take two and a half hours to do a full set of proper Russian volume fans. Um, if you switch the process round, you're likely to struggle. Um, the only thing that you would ever need to switch around is glue and isolating, depending on your humidity. But for to start off with, do it in this order and get used to doing it in this order and only ever switch around um, when your glue is drying too slowly. So I, I don't want to overcomplicate it. Do it in this order unless you're in a situation where your glue is taking an age to dry. So just cover each individual area again. Um, number one, picking up your fan. So what we're looking for is really open symmetrical fans um, with pointy closed roots. And any one technique you choose, whichever you feel more comfortable doing, or if you pick up your own technique but you still get the, the right outcome, that's also fine. So the pinch and roll technique or the on strip technique, any one of those is fine. The next thing that we look at as well is that you've isolated properly. So we don't want glue on any other lashes. We don't want the fan to be touching any other lashes. You should already be able to isolate from doing your classic course. So only one lash to be isolated. You need to use your, your least dexterous hand, so your worst hand to isolate, whichever your weakest hand is. You need to be able to hold your isolation whilst you put the fan on. And you need a wide parting with your tweezers to give yourself, yourself enough room to put the fan on as well. Glue technique. So ensure you've got enough adhesive but not too much. You want one millimetre of glue to be applied at the root only. We don't want any beads or balls of adhesive on the lash. Clients pick that. And also it was if you don't hold it for long enough, it's likely to just close your fan up as well. And they also look really chunky and uh, gluey as well at the roots because you've got loads of lashes going on, loads of fans. So that's not a good look. And also the retention is poor. Um, ensure that you do not get glue on your tweezers. That will make your life a nightmare. You won't be able to pick, you won't even be able to pick a fan up with your tweezers if they've got glue on. With classic lashes, if you get a bit of glue on your tweezers, sometimes it's okay, but with Russian volume, there's no way you can't do it if you've got glue on your tweezers. And apply your lash straight away before the glue cures. Um, you need fresh glue every 30 minutes-ish, sometimes sooner. And then finally, your application. So we need it to be the correct angle. You need it to be a tiny, tiny, tiny gap from the root, from the lash line. So you need a 0.05 millimeter space at the root and you need to allow the curing process to start before letting go of the fan so that's the five second thing that we were referring to so count to five hold your fan onto the lash for five seconds whilst it starts to cure and all bottom lashes like we covered earlier and the same with classic all bottom lashes need to be covered with your under eye pad or your micro pore tape so that you don't glue your client's eyes closed. So um, get practicing. So like we said, do your fans on a makeup sponge first or an under eye pad to, to get the technique down to a T and then go for it, applying it to a mannequin. Um, and we'll see you in the next module. Good luck with that. Um, and submit your exam and your images as soon as you feel that you've got your technique polished up.